Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. If you are new here and don't want to miss the daily tarot readings, subscribe now by clicking the red button below this video. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also record an extended reading to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you at this moment. Now let's start with your reading. First, let's shuffle the deck four times for you. So let's see what is the overall energy. Nine of Pentacles, being single, being independent, being financially good. If you are not good financially, I think uh, you will have very good news regarding finances. But let's see about your love life, more details. Let's see first what happened in the recent past. Ten of Pentacles, maybe you had a family with this person, you had children. It was a long-term commitment or relationship or it had such potential to be something long-term and uh, important. So it seemed like everything from the outside seemed very, very good, very promising. Now let's see what is affecting you in your subconscious that you may not be aware of. Is You want to give up. You have been holding tightly back and uh, resisting a lot, feeling hurt, but still trying to resist and not give up. It's, I think you want to give up now. How you view the situation? You, uh, From your viewpoint, they seem very distant emotionally, not, not expressing uh, anything, being having giving you the cold shoulder, Let's see about the current situation. Yes, you want to be with them. You have very good memories with this person. At least you want to be friends with them. But uh, you are losing hope there. You are feeling hopeless. Maybe also there is a long distance physical problem there. Maybe it is a long distance connection. Let's see about the focus and hopes or fears. You have been overthinking about this situation over and over. And it has been stressful. You want to get more clarity now. And sometimes you think that that connection was on and off. And maybe they were not honest. Maybe they were a player. And your focus now is to not, to not uh, disregard any red flags. So you want to be more careful. And not give opportunity to people that do not deserve it. Let's see what is happening with them. The Wheel of Fortune. Let's see why the Wheel of Fortune. They are still waiting for you. They are not talking. Because they think the connection is very conflictual. They have lost some passion there, but they want to see a positive progress uh, towards that connection. In the near future, the, wheel, the World card and the Knight of Swords. As soon as you think that this connection is over and you feel it, they will communicate with you. So I sense you will give up and not believe that this connection has any hopes. And for you it is a uh, complete cycle. That moment they will call. That moment they will message you. Now I will continue this reading in the extended video where I want to view more about the energies of this spread. Also how does your person feel now? How do they view you now? And what are their intentions? If you want to watch the extended video you can find it in the description box below. See you the next reading and bye for now.